Howdy and welcome to another episode of Breaking the Seal. If you like curious and delicious mixtures of different ingredients, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you like drinking eggnog that's been sitting out overnight, uh, don't do that because it tastes sour and unpleasant. And I'm sure your body will have something to say about it later. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And you should just hit that anyways. So, what have I got going on for you today? You know, I, I need to eat more cereal. I still got cereal boxes that need to be opened up. So, today is going to be the Christmas Crunch. Captain Crunch's Christmas Crunch. Look at that. Oh, he's so jolly. He looks a bit more red. We got snowmen red and green we got hats probably red and green yeah and we got trees in red and green and stars in red and oh wow we got a lot of different shapes going on in here isn't that exciting wonderful presentation on this box captain crunch you tend to always deliver when it comes to your box you you just do not fail yeah i don't know if it's possible for you to fail you've been doing such a great job can this can this juggernaut of advertisement be stopped i think not let's take a look at the back we got a lot of fun stuff going on tangled tidings from christmas cabin can you find all the items on brunhild's decoration list i guess this is brunhild right here i don't even know what the, I'm, I'm assuming that's like norse oh my gosh and we also gotta figure out what cords go to what trees uh, can you can't ugly so you know something just struck me i wonder if some of these characters show up on other boxes what do we got here so if we look at the red white and blue crunch okay the uh this guy with the five o'clock with the scrub scraggly scruff, scratchy chin he's on there again do we have other repeat offenders i'm gonna say that might be brun brunhilda brunhilde something however you pronounce her name the, those two appear to be reoccurring. Let's go to the next one with Captain Crunch's birthday crunch. We have... Oh, okay. Hold on. The one tooth guy showed up again. He was... Yeah, he's on Christmas crunch right here. Oh my gosh. I'm connecting all the dots right now. This is exciting. Do we have the scratchy chin guy? Yep, he's right there. Do we have Brunhilde? Oh, there's a sailor. He was, uh, he was on the previous box. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Yeah, we do have recurring characters and then the halloween crunch everybody's all dressed up interesting so we have a whole like series of characters going on here this is fascinating captain crunch i didn't know you had that going on with you man well this will keep your kids busy for approximately no time at all because they'll find something more interesting to do like doing a Fortnite or something so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open absolutely no fear of tearing the tuck flap here i don't know what you call that to open lift tab careful just the tab no fear of ripping the tab and the top of the box at all quaker you're doing a spectacular job pop that the rest of the way open see how the bag feels fell a little short on the bag this time quaker that's a little unfortunate it did tear a little bit but it is still totally intact and viable let's go ahead and pour ourselves some get that dry taste test going pour a little bit on the table that's fine that is definitely way more than i really needed so we've got the star we've got a tree we've got a hat Oh my gosh, y'all probably can't see anything going on here. What are you? I guess you're a snowman. You tried. It's just Captain Crunch. Honestly, the only thing that's changed is the shape and color. There's nothing else different going on with Captain Crunch. Now, for a wet taste test, there's only one milk that you ever put in here for a wet taste test. And that would be South Mountain Creamery. That is what we do here. Let's pour it in. I definitely put way too much cereal in there for a taste test, but you know what? I'm hankering for some cereal, so that's what we're going to go with. We'll let that sit for a bit. And while this stuff is getting all milked up, I'm absolutely curious. This stuff is 150 calories per serving, and I wonder if that's changed throughout the different Cap'n Crunches. On Halloween Crunch, we've got 160 calories. Isn't that fascinating? Is there really any difference? Uh, you know, it's probably because the ghosts turn your milk green. And green typically has higher calories. But that wouldn't make sense because we already got green pieces in this. I don't know. Red, white, and blue Crunch. We are looking at 150 calories. Oh, wait a minute. Interesting. 
These are all with two thirds cup of vitamin A and D fortified skim milk. Let's let's re let's rewind 210 calories if you add the milk. Same with the Halloween crunch. I don't know where they get that from. Red, white, and blue, you got 150 clean and 200 wet. I, I'm at a loss. I don't know why. I think they just make these numbers up. Birthday crunch is also 150 and 200. Wow, I realized you couldn't see that through the South Mountain Creamery. I'm not doing it again. So let's go ahead. I think this has been sitting long enough. See how the milked Christmas crunch goes. I'm sure this is a real shocker to you all, but it tastes like Cap'n Crunch. There's no flavor difference. It's just new pieces and a wonderful box to go along with it. Isn't that fascinating? I think I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this for a bit. Oh man, that was absolutely delicious. But we're not done yet. You see, we've got this South Mountain Creamery and that's the typical taste test. It's the one that gets you the most true Christmas flavor out of this. But what if I told you it might be possible to get more Christmas per spoonful? I'm not sure that it's realistic, but we're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna try Cap'n Crunch Christmas Crunch with eggnog. Now, eggnog is the official drink of Christmas. In fact, I talked to Jesus himself and he said, if you are on Christmas, you drink eggnog. Water is no longer an option. Wine is no longer an option. It's only eggnog. I heard that Jesus invented eggnog and that's what that holiday is all about because Jesus blessed the earth with eggnog. So let's go ahead and pour a little bit of that in. By the way, when I mentioned that the eggnog was left out, I didn't mean this eggnog. I meant all those little red cups I had in my last video. Oh, that is goopy. Ooh, it like has to seep through the pieces. Oh, this is bizarre. I do not have high hopes for this. Uh, I don't believe anybody puts eggnog as an option for milking your cereal, but this is technically just sugar milk and eggs, I guess. It's getting real clumpy in there too. Oh, this is gonna be fascinating. Well, folks, you saw it here first. Eggnog in your Christmas crunch. Let's go ahead and give that a bite because I don't think this is gonna soak in very well. I gotta say, it's not the worst idea, but it is astoundingly sugary. And I think it still actually needs a little bit more time. I don't think this is something you can pour and just eat right away. I think you need to let it sit. So we're gonna check on it a little bit after it's sat. Let's go ahead and give that another taste test. I got about six and more cavities right there. I can feel it, that's rough. This will send your kids through the roof. If you wanna get your kids all worked up, so that way they sugar crash exactly when you want them to, this is a combination you should go with. But to be totally honest, I think I would still prefer South Mountain Creamery over putting eggnog in my cereal. And I think that won't be a very radical opinion. I think a lot of people are gonna agree with that one. And I think that's everything I have to say about this. Determine if you wanna be regular Christmas or hyper Christmas. And regular Christmas just gonna be overall enjoyable. And I will see you all on the next one.